Welcome to the very first run of Pop-Up Dungeon. Um, there's still some bugs and glitches to figure out here. Uh, of course, we're still uh, definitely developing the game, but as you're going to be able to see here in a second, it's all quite playable. And uh, we're hoping to get it out to you as soon as we can. So right now I'm just exploring the caves. This is one subset of the dungeon. And uh, we're looking for an encounter right now because we don't have interactables yet, so there's no chance of finding a treasure chest or hidden, hidden treasure anywhere, unfortunately. And here's our first encounter. So I'm starting off on level five. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult than uh, you'd start with on the very first time that you play the game. Right now I'm gonna deploy my troops. So I just click on a dude and put him anywhere I want. Uh, let's see here. So I, I should pay very close attention to this. Uh, on the right hand side here is our turn order queue. It looks like this elite bat swarm is gonna go before me. Now I happen to have made these guys so I happen to know what they do and uh, one of the things these guys do is that they actually are able to react to my movement. They can echolocate me, sort of ping me as I move. And um, they actually are going to respond. This is a little bit advanced, but they're gonna to respond to the rogue's dodge. So I'm gonna actually block off my rogue from dodging into one of these things. We'll see how they react to that. So we'll start the battle here. They levitate. You can see these cool little wings on their back. So there's my rogue trying to dodge. She would have moved back to the square where the wizard is if I would have allowed it, and the bat swarm would have probably killed her. Or maybe not, but very close. So here's her combo. She backhands to turn them around and backstabs them once their back is exposed. So our rogue did well to take out the elite bats. But we got some more bats back here. You're gonna destroy this mushroom and start coming at me. The Gorgonzola has tossed some cheese. As you can see, I've got a little piece of meat over my head now. That means I'm tasty. That means that anytime, here we go, that uh, anything bites me or attacks me, uh, they're actually gonna be able to life siphon me. My wizard back here is gonna cast a lightning bolt. That's his bread and butter. So that takes care of the Gorgonzola. When you kill an enemy, uh, one of the nice things is, or well, when you kill any entity, their buffs and debuffs that they had active uh, go off. So now my my warrior's no longer tasty. I've saved him from being tasty. Stay back. They're all mine. So my warrior is my sort of the Charlie of my group. He's the rat killer. And he's also going to taunt these bats. Come and get it. So now we'll see. I don't think my rogue is going to be able to quite make it to these bats, but we'll get her close. And we'll end her turn. So the bats have a little echo ability that uh, is going to do damage up front and then echo again for more damage. Now look at this, uh, when I actually um, see the sort of plate over their head as to what the lightning bolt is gonna do, if you see the card says 34 to 195 damage, right? But the little tab over their head says zero to two damage and that's because bats are resistant to aerial damage. So we're just gonna throw a frost bolt at them instead. I would have loved to fireball him, but I couldn't quite make it into range. And this chop might finish him off. I did it. Get up! I'm not done with you yet. Okay. So now is the loot phase, and uh, this is a TNT barrel that uh, appears here in the caves. Uh, it's going to actually give me nine power, and I'm going to lose. 3.9 elemental power. If I wanted to really compare it, I can drag it out just like an ability. 
and then just hover over my uh, party members to just see what it's going to do. You can see there, uh, the green is what they're gaining, the red is what they're losing. And I think I'm gonna go with the suggested uh, equipping to the wizard. Once I equip it, his hat comes out. Uh, I'm just gonna sell it, double clicking this red glowing card. You can see the convert to gold up in the right hand corner over here is uh, highlighted. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna double click it. It's gonna turn it to gold. Now, right now the gold does nothing because uh, you know we don't have charms. There's no uh, vending machines yet. Um, you can't actually buy into runs, but it's going to be very useful. It's basically your main advancement. It's almost like uh, the permanent experience of the game. So every time you sell an item, you're actually advancing. So you're going to see some of these uh, enemies again. Uh, the cave rats are back, the gorgonzola is back. This time we have a deep root rock. And uh, you, we also have a kobold who's ranged. Um, you can hover over them to see a little bit more about them. This guy's a standard draconic marksman. The standard is just his rank. You know, minion, standard, elite, boss, legendary. Uh, draconic means that uh, in this case, you know, you kind of have to start looking at what the uh, skins do. We're about to put in a full inspect. That's the very next thing that we're doing. So you'll be able to learn what they're weak against, what they're strong against. But they're, you know, going to be strong against things like fire, um, and they're they're also resistant to any status effects. So trying to taunt him will be harder. Uh, the marksman is actually going to be something that lets me know that he's ranged, and ranged characters will have weak back defense. So if my rogue gets in there, it's going to be great. Um, that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to start setting up that rogue to try to get at the cobalt. And the warrior will try to stop the deep root rock, who's going first, from getting too far in there. He moves quite a bit. And let's keep the wizard. Yeah, the wizard's fine at the door. So let's start the battle up. Here comes the deep root. I react to him coming into one range with a hamstring. And he's just indiscriminately causing earthquakes over here, hurting his rats. He doesn't care. He's just a rock. So, I don't know if rats and rocks get along. Okay, so I'm going to finish off this Gorgonzola before she can turn me into cheese. And get one step closer to getting at this kobold. Or kabold. So the rats have actually uh, shielded themselves here. Uh, you can see the, the shield around them. That means they're going to absorb damage. If I were to try to lightning bolt them, um, they would just absorb the damage. So I'm going to lightning bolt the deep root over here. He's actually weak against air. Watch yourself. Now the chop, I'm probably still gonna have to finish off this deep root. I don't want them earthquaking me again. Although these rats are gonna be a bit of a problem. So you can see I only have a 44% chance of taunting the kobold. The rats, I have a 0% chance. Uh, they're not actually resistant, it's just that they have high cover and this is a ranged ability. So they're hard to taunt and for a uh, ranged ability. So now my rogue is going to hopefully be able to just give this kobold a little backstab. The reason that his back isn't seemingly exposed there is because the charging effects are not quite finished. And he's in the middle of charging an aimed shot, which would actually be a lot of damage uh, if we let him live. So we had to take him out. Now you'll see there that I had my damage absorbed by these darn rats. They, they basically hold up one of their mice. So you can see there they take some damage. They hold up part of their swarm to take all the brunt of the damage. That's their thing. Now let's see what I can do with a fireball here. So, in this case, my rogue might die, but I, if you remember, oh, actually she has no IP, so she can't dodge. And I'm gonna hold on to it and we'll just 
try to plink away a little bit at their shield here with a wizard. Because I think my warrior might be able to do something about the rat. That's how you use the rat slayer. Watch yourself. Let's see if he can break through their shield. Ooh, they that whenever you see the uh, text go over to the side like that, that means that they actually evaded the attack. So I'm still gonna move one away with my warrior so he can react if the if the cave rats go after him, he'll hamstring them again. Ready, my but blade. the rogue is also a pretty wicked rat killer. We'll see if she can do the business. Ooh, almost. So here come the rats. They're either gonna nibble my rogue and she's gonna dodge, or they're gonna come at the warrior. Oh, and he's still they're still holding on, but they as you can see there, they they've got hamstrung as a reaction from the warrior. Um, and I'm just gonna for funsies throw a fireball in here and maybe kill everyone. Let's see. Okay, there go the rats. The warrior is dead. Take that! Warrior, no! That was but all of your party members come back full health at the end of any uh, encounter. So here I'm actually going to replace the TNT barrel that I got last time. Not very lucky with the loot there. And we've also triggered a chain encounter, so we're going to have another encounter. And now we have different people to worry about, different enemies. Um, so there's two doors to this room, one this way, one this way. And they're probably going to come at me this way. Because the goblin's coming first. He's going to have to break through some props to get at me, so I'm not too worried about him. Keep the wizard in the back row. It's my turn now. And we'll actually put the rogue in there to take care of the succubus. The succubus can charm you, so we don't want that to happen. Here comes the gobbo. Uh-oh, he's gonna throw a rock at me. That's not good. Oh. Here it goes. That hurts. So let's see. Yeah, I got a 100% kill on that succubus. We do not want a, a charmed rogue, I'll tell you that. That can be quite deadly. So we're just gonna move the wizard into position and wait Watch yourself. And this time, we're gonna step in and taunt that goblin. He's actually weak to taunt, and he's hot-headed. So he's taunted for 14 turns. He's not attacking anyone but my warrior now. Unfortunately, that rock toss can, can do a number on the warrior. So we're gonna go ahead and step back a little bit. And end the turn. comes that zombie. Uh-oh. Okay, well, I resisted the confuse, so that's good. Here comes the rock toss. Oh, that hurts. Oh, no, my warrior. Ready my blade. Okay, so this rogue's probably gonna take care of the zombie, I hope, because otherwise my wizard's in big trouble. 91% chance. There we go. All right, so now we're just gonna present the goblin with a juicy target, but she'll dodge. And the wizard is gonna throw a fireball into this mix. Let's see if I have any chance of killing him. I have a 58% chance, so that's another thing. Um, you can middle mouse over the uh, card here, sort of to just center your view on it. And you can see I have a 58% chance right over his head in that little skull of killing him. And I got lucky. I knew we could do it. Ooh, not good loot again. <laughs> so that actually finishes the first level. Um, we're going to click on this tab here to go to the next level. And now I'm in the crypts instead of the caves. Uh, this is another sort of just uh, subsect of the dungeon. And 
and I think we're going to go ahead and call it good for now on the video, but um, we plan on releasing more of these sort of videos just so you can see our progress. Uh, here you can see I'm fighting enemies in the crypt. You can find all sorts of things in here like the specter who can kill you right away and liches and skeletons that explode on you and all sorts of stuff. But we'll leave that for next time.